Hello guys and welcome to the third video of how to series by serpents. In this video we'll focus on mumble settings. I decided to make this video because lately I saw really many guys asking how do you speak in squad chat, how do you do it in local. So I decided to show you how you can set up your own shortcuts or at least what the default shortcuts are. First we'll have to open our PR. As you can see in the PR main menu there are options. When you open the options you will see your profile which should be set to your online profile you play with. Then click on the card PR Mumble. Here you can see different bindings and as you can see right here it might cause some troubles when you try to change them by left clicking your mouse and actually selecting your left mouse button. So, I recommend you to go to launch, which will actually launch the mumble, and then go to configure and settings. Do not change anything in here because it is automatically set to your maximum quality, but you can go to shortcuts and change those. After you go to shortcuts, you will see the key bindings, everything from local to squad chat to squad leader chat to commander chat. This is how it looks like. In the right bottom corner you will see a blue icon, green icon, red icon or a yellow icon. Blue icon stands for local chat. Green icon stands for squad chat. Red icon stands for specific squad leader chat or a chat to all squad leaders. Yellow color stands for chat directly to commander. That was how it looks like when you are talking to somebody. This is how it looks like when somebody is talking to you on any of these channels. Also, one more thing you can get from Mumble are these four icons here. The first icon stands for you speaking. It is white because it is from the general point of view. Then it is the microphone muted icon where you have your microphone muted in Mumble and people do not hear you. The third icon is when you have muted Mumble. That is, you do not hear people and people cannot hear you because you have your microphone muted automatically. The last icon stands for disconnected from mumble. In that case there is something wrong with your mumble and you should restart it. You can do this by simply clicking your right mouse button on the mumble icon in your taskbar and pressing exit it will restart automatically. As a default H is for a local speech and numpad 0 is for a squad chat. You can change this by clicking with your left mouse button and then simply pressing the key you want. I don't like the numpad 0 so I change it to the left alt. As you can see in this list I have alternative keys as well. These keys can be basically of the same function as before, that means you can have even three keys for local speech. At the beginning you should be able to see key or M. Key stands for keyboard, M stands for mouse. As I showed you before, the key for general squad chat, that is, to all squad leaders, is a multiply. After that, pretty logically, numpads from 1 to 9 stand for talking to squads from 1 to 9. That is, if you press number 1, you will talk to squad 1. If you press number 2, you will talk to squad 2, etc. If you are a squad leader and you would like to talk directly to your commander, you can press divide and you'll talk directly to him. Also, if you press multiply, all squad leaders and commander will hear it. You can also add other keys. As you can see, right now, I have deaf and self. This is good for, for example, if you are on TeamSpeak and you don't hear anything on TeamSpeak, so you deafen yourself in the game. I have binded this function to insert. How to add such key? Simply go ahead and on the bottom press add and a new line with unassigned should pop up. Firstly, press unassigned and define what would you like the key to do. After that, go to shortcut, click with your left mouse button and simply press the key you want. How to remove keys? Basically, select a line and press remove. When you're done, don't forget to press apply and OK. Now you can close your mumble. When you close your mumble, there will be still the table of the primer options. Now you can press apply or close and this really doesn't matter because you pressed apply in the previous table. Now you can go ahead 
and click play and enjoy your mumble. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like or comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.